Hey everybody, welcome to the Law Doc Way. I'm Jessica, and today's video is going to be a look inside our brand new, The Best Christmas Pageant Ever Novel Study. This novel study is a cross-curricular literature study for all ages. The best thing about it is that other than the study, the only thing you need is a copy of The Best Christmas Pageant Ever book. Now I have the original as well as the new movie tie-in. These books are pretty much identical minus the cover, so either one will work. Um, another option if you can't get your hands on it because it's so popular is you can find a read aloud of it on YouTube. The first thing we have is a sample lesson plan. So we'll outline options for how you can do this novel unit study, although you're free to do it, whatever fits you. Then we have cross-curricular connections. So there are some different ideas using the book as a base for how you can extend it in math, writing, social studies, science, art, and music. We have favorite quotes from the best Christmas pageant ever. So as you read the best Christmas pageant, you will jot down favorite quotes that you find interesting. And then for each week, there are some activities that repeat with a little bit of variation. So every week has copy work, some sort of vocabulary. In this case, you're gonna write down um, the definitions from the dictionary and then write a paragraph using at least three of those words. Some sort of creative writing project. Uh, this talks about how authors use uh, descriptions to help us visualize and imagine things um, using the description of the Herdman's cat. I will not spoil that for you. Anyway, your student is going to then use that description to draw what they imagined the cat to look like. Uh, there's comprehension, some varying, but this one has some true and false, some fill in the blank, and a few short answer. And then there is a summary for each week. They're going to draw a picture of something they rep they think represents those chapters. And then um, if they could give the title to it, what happens, their favorite part, their least favorite part. Then, like I said, each week has different variations. So matching, complete the sentence for vocabulary. Um, this time they are going to be writing instructions from Miss Anderson to Mother for how to direct the Christmas pageant. also have some fun things like a Christmas pageant riddle. So they're going to answer these questions about the book when they're done reading and it will give them a answer to a riddle. We have things like designing a book cover, doing the story setting, identifying the theme, plotting the story, um, a character analysis, persuasive book writing review, comparing the book and the movie, there's a figurative language activity and then some final project suggestions once you've finished the book, some sort of hands-on type of thing. And then I also included answer keys for any of the pages where that was relevant. I always like to include some sort of hands-on activity or a game because I truly feel that kids really learn best that way and it helps cement what they've learned. So in this case, we're gonna do a figurative language activity and we're going to sort some quotes from the book into which figurative language they are. So here are some of the quotes that we're going to be sorting. The first one we have here says, the little piano keys went plink. That is an example of an onomatopoeia. Wanda Pierce weighed about a ton. Obviously she didn't really weigh a ton, so that would be a hyperbole. And you would just have your kids do the same thing with the rest of the quotes from the book. 